this makeup tutorial in a slightly unconventional way by first using body paints. I'm using the Mayron Paradise paint in gray. And then I took a NYX lipstick in the color Black Sesame, which is this light gray color. And I put it all over the top of my face. I did this to give you a couple of different options. You can use a grease-based paint, you can use a cream paint, you can use water activated or alcohol activated, or you can use something unconventional like a lipstick. I shaded my entire face with the gray color called Stealth from Makeup Geek Cosmetics and I put that on a big fluffy brush. This is a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and I ran that all throughout my crease and on the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead as a shade and down any spots of my face that I wanted there to be shadow. Then I filled in my eyebrows with a black color. This is just a black eyeshadow. You can use eyeliner, you can use whatever works best for you. And then I filled in any spots of my face that have my natural skin tone color, so my upper and lower water lines. And I highlighted my face with a whitish color. This is what I did for my Halloween costume last year, and it is such an easy way to have a striking and awesome costume without having to put a lot of effort in. Everything that you do, shade with dark grays and blacks. Don't use any color in your face. Make sure that you're using black to do a winged liner. I did want to do a sort of film noir style black and white. I will post some pictures in here of the Halloween costume in full that I did last year. Um, and I make sure just to throw on some mascara and some lashes, some black lipstick. Pin my hair back out of my face and then I spray it with black hairspray. You can use a gray wig. Um, you can do anything like that. You can use a gray wig, a white wig, anything that will work, but I just was quickly spraying my hair with black hairspray, which is what I did last year. My hair was brown last year, not this weird blonde color, so it was much easier to hide the color of my hair. For the costume portion, I found this black and white button up shirt from just a thrift store. I also found this pencil style skirt from the thrift store. I bought a pair of gray tights and some heels, threw it all on, put on a pair of black gloves and held a little clutch and that was my entire outfit. That is the finished makeup look. It's very quick, simple, easy, black and white film noir makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you guys at my next video.